So, hi, I'm Fiona. I'm um, part of the team that organized the Chaos Mentors for the Chaos Communication Congress last year and the year, be year before that. Thanks a lot for the invitation. Um, the Chaos Mentors, in short, or Chaos Partner in German, um, are a program that is aimed at people visiting the Congress for the first time, and we've been doing that for two years now. And I think there were some insights and lessons learned that I happily share with you tonight. Um, so, let's see whether... Yeah, perfect. So I first just quickly, briefly explain you what we wanted to do, how we did it, what we learned from it, and um, yeah, why we did it, and hopefully suggest you some ideas to take home or to discuss later when we shift this entire thing to the bar. So what are the chaos mentors in short? Um, we have the program that started two years ago, and as I said, we are aiming at supporting people visiting the Chaos Communication for Congress for the first time. I bet a lot of people of you have been there, but for those who haven't, the Chaos Communication Congress is a congress that is happening annually since now 31 years, and it's dealing with a lot of topics and issues ranging from net politics to making, security, and also arts and beauty, and offers a wide range of workshops too. And it is organized by the Chaos Computer Club, the Hackers Association from Germany, and it's happening between Christmas and New Year. And over the last years, or decades actually, the Congress has grown tremendously. So I think back in the days in Berlin, it um, offered space for about three and a half thousand people, I think. And now we shifted it to Hamburg, which uh, gives shelter to more than 10,000 people, or over 9,000 9, people actually, or even more. And um, hence the Congress has opened up a lot and has become really, really big. And this is where the Chaos Mentors actually jumped in. So what did we want to do? Um, we really appreciated this development a lot and we wanted to encourage people to join in because people tended to have um, fear of going there or intimidations for all kinds of reasons, just maybe because of the sheer amount of people in one spot, which can be very intimidating, or because they felt like they are not real hackerishy enough so they wouldn't fit in. I wanted to encourage those people to still come by. Um, and we did this by, we wanted to offer support beforehand, answering people's questions, and being contact people on location. And yeah, we basically just wanted everybody to have a great Congress because we had to have a blast, and we wanted everybody else to have a blast, and we wanted to um, facilitate that. So how, do, how did we turn those goals into action? Um, there were basically three fields for us to get to become active, and we usually started off or kicked off a couple of weeks before Congress started with a with a post on the official event blog of the CCC where we were announcing, "Hey, Chaos Mentors is happening again. You can register." And we asked the people to register with an email and telling us about something about them, maybe if they've got specific needs, if they had certain fears or what they are interested in, or what they wanted to learn. And um, I think this year we had 100 mentees applying. Um, last year we had also 100, and usually you get 20 to 30 people spontaneously joining you, and we had 35 mentors. And I see some of the mentors here, and also some of the mentees, which is really great. Um, and we also asked the mentors to tell us what they are interested in. i come to the sense of that later. Um, yeah, and we take a lot of time for answering everybody personally, um, which is a bunch of work, but it really pays off, because for a lot of people, all their fear and anxiety is really turned into excitement after um, getting a personal email by a so-called human being who is really nice and who takes care of their needs and makes sure, hey, whatever you need, we take care of it, feel safe, feel convinced that there's it's going to be great. And um, yeah, so... When we get all these emails, we, um, we get actually to the core of our work. So answering these people personally has been already the very, very important first step for people actually feeling welcomed and um, being excited about Congress. What we do then is the matching, which is uh, basically we print out the Jira issues and match them so there's no smart uh, matching algorithm sadly at hand. Instead, we first cluster the people by their interests. So if you're um, a huge podcast fan, you're very likely to find yourself in a group of other totally crazy podcast fans 
or one of the five groups of totally nuts podcast fans. Um, so that and the idea is that, is that you later get a mentor assigned, but you also have a group already with which you can, like you know, somehow like-minded people that won't talk about anything else but podcasts. Um, and then it's also very likely that you'll have a mentor assigned to your group who's also really crazy about podcasts or a podcaster. Um, although I, I don't want to promise anything, but yeah, that's how it usually worked. Or you have somebody, uh, a couple of people that really want to build a robot, for example, are really excited about robots. And we had this really crazy mentor. He brought his entire robot building suitcase thingy and build a robot with them, which was really cool. Um, yeah, so we match them. And as soon as the mentor has his mentees, he writes them, he's then responsible for them. He makes sure they're all psyched up about Congress and um, arranges a meeting with them. So the, first, the third field of action um, then happens at Congress. So we have a really nice decorated assembly. We hand out those flyers. And uh, I really like the second one. Take a bath in the belly bar, lose your smartphone, and find another. Um, <laughs> and actually, uh, all the mentees direct run around and tick it off. Um, and but you should pay more attention actually to the find at least one new and awesome friend. Because the thing is, we have this assembly. We meet there all together. We say hi. We welcome them. The mentors meet up with their mentees. They take a tour. They show them where do you get your mate, where do you find the workshops, they take a look in the program. Sometimes they arrange meetings too, say let's go together into this, um, I heard you like computers, so go into the Andreas Bog talk about computers and see what happens. Um, but sometimes, but here's the thing about the mentors taking care of the mentees. If anybody of you wants to be part of the program and become a mentee, we first want to test if you're emotionally capable of dealing with the fact that they won't need you anymore after a couple hours. So in German, we have this word Flüge, and I think I should say it's into, correct me if I'm wrong, they spread their wings, they fly the nest, they will never call you again because they find their own friends. And this has worked out really, really well. They sometimes come back to the assembly and um, we exchange or they tell us what they experienced, what new and awesome friends they found and what they learned, but usually in the ideal world, they don't need us anymore after a while. So if we are that not necessary at all, why do we do it anyways? So in the past years, there's been quite a genuine interest of the press into our program, and they always ask me this, so why do you need, have need the chaos mentors? Because this actually sounds horrible, you know? It must be a horrible place if you need a mentor to guide you through it. Must be terrible people at place, but it's not. So, what I always answer is, is um, well, y the thing is, people need encouragement for all kinds of reasons, and I think it's not specific for the Congress that a place with ten thousand people in one space, in when there's cold weather outside and all viruses whirling around, and um, you know, and they're all hackers, and you don't know, and it's very intimidating. You don't know anybody, so. It can be just, as I said, the sheer amount of people. And other people sometimes, uh, what I observe a lot, oh, by the way, this year we had, among the 100 mentees, we had 50% female, which was great. Um, and s I observe this a lot with female attendees, that they feel like, ah, they are not real hackers in a way. And you hear this from, there was this girl who wrote me, yeah, I did my master's degree in mathematician, going to do my PhD in cognitive science. Also, I love discordianism, but I don't know if I belong at the Congress, really. And, and you're just all surprised, but they, the people have this tendency of feeling unwelcome if you don't state explicitly, please come. You're very welcome here. This is just the right place for you. So, and I, ironically, the press asks me this a lot. But I often feel like, hey, all those pre-assumptions that are made usually base on media representation of the Congress. So people often expect a community of all male, white, hackers, closed up community. Well, I'm certainly not that. So, uh, and a lot of other people aren't either. So um, yeah, people going there was the most important step. And then usually things were just fine, telling from what they I heard. Um, also, we believe that Congress should be open and we want to contribute to that development and we really appreciate, or we as the Chaos Mentors really appreciate the development of Congress opening up because the issues that we are dealing with do not affect a thin, elite hackle layer 
anymore or never did, but affects everybody. Also, Congress was awesome. Um, and we feel like, well, actually, Congress really is awesome. I mean, um, you have so much fun, you meet so many nice people, and you learn so much. But the fourth thing, and which I think is even more important to state, is that also not only the people visiting the Congress benefit a lot from the knowledge and indulging into this huge landscape of new knowledge, it's also our community, the CCC, us benefiting a lot from being able to participate in exchange with other people, with other perspectives, and we need that. So we need to open up, and this is the best thing that can happen to a community to become more diverse and being able to address other needs, other views, and exchange. So this is something we also want to contribute to, having other people joining Congress that haven't before. And what we learned from this are four things. First thing is that obviously it seems to me we should make first make clear what database I'm relying on. So we had now m probably 250 mentees that we exchanged with a lot. We had a lot of feedback loops. We talked to them. They tell us what about their experiences. And telling from what they told me and the stories I heard, the reputation of the Congress really seems to be lagging behind a lot. So it might have been very, very different a couple years ago, but it's not like that anymore. So people kind of it hasn't really made the, how do you say, it hasn't really spread yet that Congress is a great place to be and the community is really open. Um, so people still have these pre assumptions that we are trying to, um, yeah, challenge. Also, as I said, the community is incredibly open and welcoming. I remember there was this elderly lady that came on the first day. She wasn't registered or anything and she just came to her assembly and sat down and was all exhausted and, and she said, I, I really have no clue where I am, what this is, what to do, what is this? <laughs> and I talked to her, I took my time for 10 minutes and I talked to her and I said, hey, just feel free to, you know, this is a place where you can access a lot of knowledge, just talk to people, try to, you know, get into touch with people, they don't bite, they might be ignoring you, they might be rather silent or shy, but they don't hate you. <laughs> and she came back on the last day and she was all glowing and telling me, hey, yeah, I just spent four hours in the assembly hall and I talked to 10 tables and I was, oh, how did that work out? <laughs> and she had a great time. She, she, wa there was she wasn't rejected by anybody. She wasn't let down by anybody. And I, I do acknowledge that people make other experiences too, but the people that I talked to didn't. They, all of them actually have very surprised in a very positive way. And from my perspective as an organizer, what means a lot to me is that the program has been embraced a lot from the very beginning, from the CCC and everybody I talked to. And I was actually prepared for criticism um, because, you know, we are explicitly aiming at new people that are flooding Congress and, you know, being all foreign and strangers. But nobody brought that up, at least not that I know of. And yet, I can still understand if somebody's worried about this because I think what one has to understand is that Congress is also somehow a safe space for some people, and now all those foreign people are coming, and strangers, and um, you know people they've never seen before. But I think there's no need to worry, because everybody I see here who's been to Congress, I'm pretty sure you've been at a totally different Congress than I was. So if you want to, you can retreat to your local hacker space and just hack four days straight. You can also party four days straight. Not a problem at all. It, it really works. You can do that, I heard. Um, <laughs> And you can also just skip all the lectures. The lectures are great, but you can just learn so much just wandering around and talking to so many people. So there are 1,337 congresses happening, and whatever congress you want to have, you can have it. You don't have to participate in any other congress. And one last lesson that I strongly want to share is that telling from what I learned so far is that we are really on a, the right path, I think. Just, it's my personal judgment. I'm not talking for any organization or other person, but I really feel like, hey, people are going into the same direction. We still have a lot of challenges ahead. I think especially the lack of diversity is something we have to challenge um, in the tech community in general, but I think we are heading there. So now that I've been talking maybe to some people that will never visit Congress or have never been to Congress. 
Um, maybe there are some, some things I can share with you too. First is, of course, you should come to Congress. If you have any doubts about this, talk to the Chaos Mentors, um, because Congress is awesome. Uh, and the second thing is maybe for people that are organizers themselves. Something very important we learned is that just expressing, ex expressing your wish to for people to come already changes a lot. So if you organize an event that is maybe a tech event or, I don't know, a super left-wing intellectual <laughs> Marxist knitting club, people have this, sometimes have the tendency to feel not welcomed by default. So take this into consideration. If this is not the case, you should express and communicate this as directly and straight as possible. So if you are an organizer of a tech event and you, for example, want to have more women, you want to raise the percentage of women attending, say it. Just say it on your website. We welcome women. We have a welcoming culture. We wish people to come. That already changes a lot for people. So, and also something I want to um, tell you is that there is no patent on this idea. So if you feel like this concept, idea, you name it, applies to whatever you are organizing, go ahead, copy, remix, and share this concept. And um, we love to see this concept spread and help other people to um, create their an event in an inclusive way and to make the community more diverse. And we'd happily share our knowledge with you. So thanks a lot for the attention. See you at 3233. And thanks for the invitation. Thank you for coming, Fiona. Thanks for your thoughts. Uh, thanks for the great work of the Chaos Mentors, welcoming people, broadening the scope of the community. Good stuff. Any thoughts on those reflections, questions, comments, remarks? Um, some mentees have contacted me, suggesting they organize the Chaos Mentors. So um, we actually, this year, we had, I think, 10% of last year's mentees became mentors this year. And even some mentees from this Congress became mentors during Congress. Congress. So um, I'm pretty positive. I probably won't do it. Um, I have never been to camp because um, I never dared to. What's the part in the <laughs> good idea. Very good, yes. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe uh, just explaining, I think, the reason why nobody really criticizes it from the CCC is that we all can relate to it really good. So we've been there, we've done that. We've been not visiting the Congress. So I think in 2010 was the first time I went to Congress and went home again. So I stood in front of the BCC and for a while and then I went back home because I didn't dare to go in, which seems totally crazy to me, but I think a lot of people can relate to that. Or as Tim nicely put it, why did it take us 30 years to come up with that idea? So um, yeah, I'm positive there'll be something at the camp. I won't be organizing it, but I'm pretty sure there's something going to um, evolve. Anything else? As far as I did see, there's nothing too important on Twitter. If yes, just shout now. Surprising. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I think it's time for a beer, maybe. <laughs> Danke. Ja, vielen Dank euch allen, die ihr da wart, äh, mitgesprochen habt, mitgedacht habt. Thanks to you all being here, listening, thinking, commenting. Ähm, wie schon gesagt, die Sprecher sind alle noch hier, sind ansprechbar. Ähm, if you have any further questions or need for discussions, just approach the, the speakers. They're still here and happy to talk to you, I guess. And ähm, well, thanks to the Seabase. Vielen Dank, Seabase, fürs Hosten. So, wir sehen uns das nächste Mal am 3. März. Äh, bis dahin eine gute Zeit und jetzt einen schönen Abend. Bleibt gerne hier, Bier trinken oder sonst was trinken. Schönen Abend. Tschüss.